1967 Dodge Coronet RT. And this thing might look like a grandma car, but it's not. Underneath the hood is a 426 cubic inch Hemi V8. That means a compression ratio of 10 and a quarter to one. And these were underrated at 425 horsepower and 490 pound feet of torque. And would you believe that this car is with its original owner? Well, it is. And he bought this car specifically for drag racing and that's why if you take a look inside, you'll find that Torque Flight 3-speed automatic transmission. Might not be as glamorous as a 4-speed, but it's definitely more consistent on the drag strip. 323 gears would have been standard, but this car has had a little swap a -rooney. It now features 430 gears. A 67 Coronet with a Hemi isn't exactly the lightest car. Curb weight, 3,726 pounds. There were 283 hardtop Hemi Coronet RTs produced in 1967, and since this one has the automatic transmission, it's one of only 162. Popular Hot Routing Magazine tested a Hemi Coronet with a 3-speed automatic transmission and 354 rear gears. It ran the quarter mile in 14.6 seconds at 98 miles per hour. I'd imagine that traction was a major limiting factor for that ET. Challenger 392 Hemi Scat Pack Shaker. And this thing is a beast. As you'd imagine, it has a 392 cubic inch V8, compression ratio 10.9 to 1, and it's putting out 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. A six-speed manual transmission was standard in these cars, but like the Coronet, this one has the optional torque flight automatic. However, in the modern day, it's an eight-speed, not a three-speed. Out back, the automatic-equipped cars received a set of 309 gears, and then we get to the biggest weakness of this car, and, well, that's its weight. Specifically, curb weight is 4,239 pounds. Let's see if the new school can take down the old school. The Coronet rockets down the quarter mile for the win, running 11.01 seconds at 125.98 miles per hour. In the other lane, the Scat Pack Shaker looked good, but not quite good enough to win, running 11.95 seconds at 116.91 miles per hour. A huge thanks to the owners for bringing out these cars. It was awesome seeing them on the drag strip. I'll catch you guys at the next one.